Hey guys, it's the Soil Cloth here, and today in this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Rusty Redtail, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth it out of his current bounty hunt, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Rusty Redtail is an attacker, and his traits are Hardened, Control Immunity, and Nature Hater. So those are some okay traits, rank 1 is definitely his best one, control immunity is very good, but the other two are just kind of meh. And then his relics are sword and sword, which are both pretty good. And then if we go on down to the pros and the cons, we have the highest power stat in the Alpine era, which is amazing, since he is the highest power stat in the whole game. And then we have crazy damage output, 6 ways of boosting his damage output, light hater and fire weakness, and a light and fire meta, which are both great. And then access to 2 tortures and burn and ignite. Burn and ignite plus fire weakness is a decent synergy, because of course it makes him weak to them. And then he has access to torture immunity, he has a decent trace of surprisingly low cooldowns and stamina costs, and double sword relics for more damage. And his cons are a low life, a bad relics, and then nature hater is just a status caster. And then all of his setup moves are vulnerable to positive effect removal, which is true. Pretty much for this monster, you want to go ahead and have a Mega Taunt to block everything for him. So that he doesn't take damage since he has a low life, and so that he can deal as much damage as possible since he does have a very high power stat. And he has very high damaging moves. So now let's go on down to his moves to see if they're good or not. So he has an AoE 45 fire damage with a burn, he has a 70 fire damage with ignite and fire weakness. He also has Insane for Self Light Hater and Double Damage. And he has a Self Triple Damage with Torture Immunity, so you can pick between either of those. I'd probably go with the Triple Damage though. And then you could also pick between the 45 Fire Damage and 0 cooldown, or the 50 Fire Damage with a Self Damage Boost and 0 Stamina. I would definitely go with the 0 Stamina move. So yeah, those are actually some really great moves. He does actually seem like a really, really good attacker. And of course, since he does have a really high power stat, he will be able to do a ton of damage. So yeah, Rusty Redtail is definitely worth getting. He is a very good mythic attacker. So if you need a good mythic attacker, go ahead and buy him. He does cost money, but it could be worth it since he is pretty good. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Rusty Redtail. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.